Hey, tubers! Welcome back for another adventure. You guys know I love my flea markets. Gives me a chance to do a little hunting and gathering. So, I hit the flea markets in South Central Pennsylvania. That will be Williams Grove and Morningstar. You guys could look them up. Anyway, so quickly, from my friends at Morningstar, this is from the Amazon return person, and you're looking at a big $6 worth of stuff here. And what I got was, this is a dimmable LED set. So I don't know, a buck and a half. <laughs> or let's call that two, call this one. Um, this, oh, and, and power supply. Um, it's the right voltage actually for my computer so I can plug it right in there. And these two, they call them digital timers. Uh, they run on 12 volts. And what they do is according to a schedule, they would turn on and kick feed out for um, deer feeder, uh, pig feeder down south, stuff like that. So anyway, I gave her six bucks for all of this stuff. Then comes the one dollar stuff. So this hose was a dollar. Doesn't make great gas line. I call it kind of temporary gas line because it gets hard and uh, cracks, but uh, for my short little hookups, it's handy. Um, dryer vent. This is actually Tupperware. It's meant for um, recipe style storage, but it's in really nice shape. When I saw this Krylon Industrial, I think that's about as close as I'm ever going to get to Honda Red. It's never been used, so hopefully it's still alive. This type of hole punch I've seen people use these as gas pedals, right? They set them up so that as you push that down, it pulls on the cable and uh, makes your all-terrain vehicle move faster. Um, I could picture kind of a lever on it and pull the cable, right? And then uh, you go. So I've seen that used for, once again, all a dollar. This is a timer switch. We used to have these at college so that people didn't leave the iron on and torch the dorm. Um, light, retractable, pull the cable style, paste thread sealant. Um, once again, these all came from one person. He just had a vat of stuff and I went through it. So, obviously sockets, tap, that kind of stuff. The sockets are craftsmen. This is that peel and stick tape right you peel the backing off of it right this this white stuff and it sticks so it was a dollar and the brush um, so that was all the dollar stuff so on the way there I stopped at the local Dollar Tree and they had these for a buck and a quarter I go through quite a few of these they wear out I actually use the switch to turn them on and off and they wear out after a while so I grabbed that once again they were a buck and a quarter each then like the bulbs were 50 cents right um, these were just a quarter the snap knives were uh, three for a buck these guys were two bucks I have to change the battery in this rig as a matter of fact I bought her a new battery um, and what's handy is I put 12 volts into the um, into the cigarette lighter, the 12 volt accessory plug, I guess is the proper expression for them. Then I disconnect the ground on the battery, put a bag over it, disconnect the positive on the battery, put a bag over it, put the new battery in, connect the positive on the battery, connect the ground, and then my truck doesn't have to go through a whole cycle of rebooting the computer and all that kind of stuff. So um, the way I do it, I'm not saying other people do it right or wrong or if it matters if you disconnect the battery and the computer forgets, but I don't need it to throw a code because it's due for inspection this month. 
the truck stop return guy was there. And what I love about him is he sells his stuff off for a buck. Like this oversized load sign was just a dollar. All this junk too. Seems to have, for whatever reason, the adapters that go to my phones are always disappearing. I don't know who eats them or who takes them. There's only the wife and I here. And if I'm not losing them, that just leaves her. So these were all a buck each. He threw in this strip of LEDs. Looks like that got torn off somehow. So I'm not sure what, if any good, they are. But they were free, so I took them. Um, love these lights. <laughs> Round and round they go, flashing about. This is that double-sided Velcro sticky stuff. Supposedly you can put things down on your dashboard and they'll stay put with that. This is a 12-volt frying pan. Um, I thought it was interesting. I went the whole dollar for it, what the heck. Uh, One dollar LED flashlight. Um, for whatever reason, I'm forever losing the mini screwdriver sets. So that was a buck. Uh, the fan, I still have a couple of projects in mind for using this fan. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be mounted on the front of an all-terrain vehicle to keep the engine cool. Fuses. <laughs> Seems like uh, I never have them when I need them. Particularly these little ones so uh, I they were a bucket package this stuff came from elsewhere like these were from tractor supply they have them in those bins in the front um, it's like six bucks magnetic very handy the 8 the 10 the 12 um, so I grabbed them I have a couple of sets of these I I like them, I use them, they hold boats well, so whenever you can get something that actually works, you want it. I got this from a tool guy, um, Williams Grove. Um, I thought it was five bucks, it was actually 15. Seems that my little impact drivers, I have a real problem with the bits. I break them all the time. So I figured I'd grab a little better model. It's Cobalt, what's that, uh, Lowe's. So when I break the bits, I can go back and hassle them for it. Because it hassle free <laughs> lifetime warranty, right? So maybe it's worth the extra money. I also grabbed a couple of filters and a fuel valve. Right, all this stuff is just handy. Just two more deals. This stuff came from the 25 cent guy. So, right, probably for a chainsaw back then. Hopefully they fit an all-terrain vehicle spark plug. This guy's handy with eight and 10. So once again, 25 cents, how could you pass it up? This is a uh, Xenon, right? Supposedly it's good for 3,000 hours, 18 watt. I'm forever losing these guys, so it never hurts to pick up another one. String, always handy. I particularly like cotton string like this because with hydraulic cylinders, if you could kind of repack the uh, seal with the string. This is one of those laser light things. Probably needs a battery. Amazing jars full of Phillips heads. <laughs> Once again, 25 cents, so I couldn't pass it up. And you guys know I love the LED lighting. Right. If I had a guess, I should leave these out. Oh, looks like I got three sets of them. So get let these get some sunlight. Bring them inside, put them in the dark, see if any of them... Oh, four sets. <laughs> that, that was a nice win. I thought there were only two sets here. Anyway, so um, this was 10 bucks, 
It also came with a book, an audio book, but that's not here. And I already gave away the audio book, so <laughs> let's just call these LED lights 10 bucks. So it was the first weekend of March, a bit early for the flea markets, Saturday particularly. Uh, wasn't very good outside, kind of windy. As a matter of fact, I, I don't think I bought anything outside at um, Morning Star. Sunday is when I got most of most of the stuff. Did get a few inside deals from the uh, the Amazon return lady and uh, from the hardware person, but yeah, I didn't get. I really didn't get too much at Morning Star. Most of this came from Williams Grove. There was probably about 20% full Williams Grove, so it could be argued to wait until a little later in the spring. But I was in the mood to get out and uh, see the world, make a road trip, you know, cabin fever and all that kind of stuff. By the way, the daffodils down in South Central PA, if you're on the sunny side of a house, that's a little bit sheltered. They're actually in bloom, which was kind of cool to see. It was like spring without going to a uh, a garden show. Anyway, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. One never knows how many you're going to get, so get out and have some fun. Bye now.